All right, I have a very, very cool video for you guys today. I got something in the mail that you're, you're gonna love. You're gonna love this. It is a, it's a Nintendo Switch. It's a Switch OLED. I didn't get the whole thing in the mail, but I got, I got the Joy-Cons. I got this part of the dock. We're gonna talk about this. This is from a company. You can find them on Instagram. It's probably the easiest place you're gonna be able to find them. I'll have that link below. They are Game Trader Zero. And they are doing something with Joy-Cons that I, I don't think I've seen anybody else do. Now, they've been reshelling Joy-Cons for quite some time. I've, I've had my eye on their stuff for a long time. But this, this is something way beyond just reshelling Joy-Cons. I'm gonna show you guys this. So this thing is basically another Tears of the Kingdom OLED. This one though? Ah, oh, this one, this one might be, might be better. What is up guys, welcome back, or welcome in for the first time. Do me a favor, jump down in the description of this video, you're gonna find the link to our podcast down there. We do a podcast every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, and very soon, the people from Game Trader Zero are gonna join us on that very podcast. We don't have a date set yet, but it is happening. So if you wanna catch that and hear even more about how they're doing this stuff, we're gonna have them on. It's gonna be great, 8 Eastern every Thursday, the link's down there. Make sure you click that one though, okay. I want to start with, with with what these things are. So this is what they sent me. I got the Joy-Cons, which we will send, and you can see this too. We're going to talk about this little guy right here as well. Also very cool. We're going to start with these Joy-Cons. Now, this is uh, this is a design by, I believe, Pretendo Switch, I think is his name on, on Instagram. I'll link that below to make sure that's right. I'm pretty sure that's it. That page is insane. There's all kinds of really, really cool renders of different Nintendo Switch lights, Nintendo Switch OLEDs, just a bunch of different stuff. It's all really cool, but this one, this one is actually brought to life, and it's it's so cool to see. And, you know, a lot of these things you see, a lot of the people out there reshelling Joy-Cons, you know, it's all a lot of copy-paste stuff. It's all, it's all coming from the same place. You either see, like, just different colors, or, you know, the wood grains, we've seen all that. The different designs, we've seen all of it. But all these companies kind of have the same thing. So Game Trader Zero has something different. They have, I believe it's a resin printer. I believe it's a resin printer. They told me, I don't have my phone right here to check, but they're gonna tell us all about it on the podcast when they come on, but I believe it's a resin printer. So these aren't stickers. These are not decals. I'm gonna show you this one here. And you're probably already seeing a ton of B-roll of these things, but these are not stickers. They print this directly on to the to the joy cons they print it directly onto the docks now this isn't a full a full dock it's the front of the we'll, we'll get into that anyway you can even see here i'll have better shots of this but the the little circle things up here they're actually raised up off of the joy con i mean it looks it looks insane honestly the, the green feels really good and they told me that it's all coated in another resin so this is all protected this is not gonna just scratch off here this this is the real deal. So you can see here on the other one, they've got they've got the same green stuff going on here. Like they match so well. Everything looks so good together. They've got the little Triforce and it's shiny. These things look, I mean, they look incredible. They have some on their Instagram that actually have the same green buttons that look, I mean, they look, they look unreal. Honestly, they've got the white sticks, the green buttons. They look unreal. These look great. Uh, those ones look even better. Make sure you check out their Instagram to check those out. But these are not even the only designs they have. They have a ton. They've, they've been doing this for a little while now. I saw some on their on their Instagram. There was a bunch of sushi on one. The sushi one I really like. There was a bunch of little corgis on one. They've got some 80s retro inspired ones. They've got some with flowers. I mean, they've really got, they've got something for everyone. They have a ton and they all they all look incredible, and they're making more and more and more of these things. And you, you've got to check them out. They are really cool. Honestly, I, I do like, I like this switch a little better than I like the original Tears of the Kingdom switch. But I did, I did want to show you this. This is how they're doing this. So this, this looks like it's just a dock. It looks like it's a switch dock, but it's actually, uh, it's actually just a dock cover, which you, you really can't tell. It is the regular Tears of the Kingdom dock. So uh, I know a lot of you are going to be upset that I'm covering that up. I do like that dock too. I mean, but to switch it out with, like I said, 
There's there's white on white going on here. It's so hard for me to pick it up on camera. I, I did a better job with the B-roll, but like it is raised. It, it has texture. These things look so incredible. I really appreciate them sending these over. I, I love it. Like I said, I, I kind of like this one better. I like this a little better than the gold Joy-Cons. The dock, that's a toss-up. That's a toss-up. I do, I do like the original dock, but this, this is great. And the fact that it matches the Joy-Cons exactly, these things are just, they're so cool. You really do need to check these out. Even if you're not looking for the Zelda ones, I mean, like I said, they have so many different other options on the site. And the way that they do this, it's just very cool. You know, like I said, we've seen the we've seen the wood grains and the this and the that, and it's it's copy paste everywhere, and you can get it on every controller, you know, the wave. We've seen all of it. These these are something special. Now they did send this over too, and I don't know how much further they're gonna go with these things. I got I have other shots of it. But this little stand, I cannot wait to put this in its final place over on my desk. This thing is so cool and of course it matches, it matches the Joy-Cons, it matches everything. You're seeing better shots of it now. This stuff's just so cool. I I'm very grateful that they sent this stuff over. I I've honestly been eyeing it on their Instagram for quite some time. It looks, it just looks incredible. So this is, this is kind of a short one guys. I don't have, I don't have a ton of other stuff to say about it except it's super cool. You need to check it out. I will tell you this, it's gonna cost you a little bit more. It's gonna cost you a little bit more than a regular set of Joy-Cons, but it's worth it. It's worth, it really is worth it. You can get almost anything you want on it. I don't know if they're gonna just start doing like custom orders. I'm, I'm sure they'll be down in the comments of this video answering that question. Custom orders would be very cool. I don't know how well that would actually work. I know we are gonna be doing some other stuff. I have a whole box of Joy-Con parts I'm sending out. We're gonna be doing some other custom stuff that I will be sharing with you guys once I get that back. But guys, that, that's really it for this one. It's, it's gonna be a short one. I just, mm, I love this stuff. The link to them, their their Instagram is gonna be down below. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a link to their website. This stuff is, it, it's very cool. It, it's, it's a little more pricey than regular Joy-Cons, but it's worth it. Anyway guys, that is gonna do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like. Make sure you are subscribed. See you in the next one.